Hey everyone! Welcome back or welcome if you're new. And thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm so excited for all of this. Um, as you can see, today is going to be a small mobile home bathroom makeover. Um, so as you can see right now, I'm just taking everything out of the bathroom and then wiping down the walls. Um, the walls, um, they, I think the previous owners must have covered them up with some weird kind of wallpaper that has like ugly flowers on it. I mean, it's just not my style, I suppose. So I wiped everything down and then here's kind of an a before of everything of the cabinets and the walls and everything like that and all the hardware and then now here is after I spray painted everything I didn't want to show me actually spray painting everything because it would have wrecked my camera or my phone and everything because it was so everywhere it got everywhere I wouldn't recommend it, but man, did it turn out beautiful. Um, here is the Rust-Oleum is what I used. Um, and I just spray painted every single wall I possibly could white. And then I sp spray painted the cabinet gray. Um, and then I spray painted my yellow tub, which is now white with that ap appliance epoxy. And it turned out so pretty. Um, yeah, so this is kind of you know the after I painted everything white and um, right here is I'm trying to get up a lot of the grout it was just old and icky and I'm gonna put some um, sticky sticky countertop on the counters to make so I wanted to make sure that was all out too um, and also around the toilet since I'm putting in some peel and stick flooring I wanted to make sure all that the disgusting grout was out and wipe it down and make it nice and clean so that's kind of what I'm doing here and then here's where I put in um, some shelves from Ikea and I think it just made it look really nice um, as you can see and then here's the mirror and then I painted I took the mirror down and I painted it with this kind of sparkly black spray paint and I love it it's just so pretty it turned out so nice I'm so thankful for it um, and then here again I'm just showing you the gray spray paint and everything and I also did put new handles on which you will see at the very end when I show you the after of everything and then here's a couple more shelves that I got from Ikea um, I just really love the way they look and now I am putting down the peel and stick floor so what I did since there's spray paint all over the flooring I just wiped it up the best I could um, cleaned it all up wiped it down really good and put this peel and stick flooring in it it stuck so nice this is this stuff is awesome like I just I'm so thankful they had it and it was really inexpensive um, I think I paid maybe $40 for the whole floor I mean granted the bathroom isn't very big I still just couldn't believe how cheap it was and it, yeah I mean it's an old bathroom and I just wanted to upgrade it I mean obviously I didn't want to pull out the old tile and put in like new nice tile because I'm hoping eventually my husband and I are able to build a house on our land you know we live on 10 acres so eventually we would like to to build a Oh, so we're just fixing this one up um, until we are able to afford that. So I'm just continuing to kind of wipe down the floors as I go and then just kind of follow the same pattern as the um, previous tile. And it seemed to work out okay. There were some spots that didn't stick as well, so I just used some um, liquid nails underneath and that seemed to just kind of hold it down on the places that didn't stick. Uh, yep, yeah, so that's the bathroom flooring so far. I did really enjoy this project. Um, and please don't mind what I'm wearing. I think it just threw on some old clothes and, you know, because I painted and then getting down on the floor and everything, I didn't want to mess up any decent clothing so I just threw on some old clothes 
And then here's a before of the faucet and I'm going to install it and let me tell you, this was a pain in the butt and usually it's not. But since this trailer is from the 70s, I don't think they've changed it since probably the 70s because it you have to go underneath and undo all the screws and nuts and they were rusted and oh my goodness it was so hard it took me like three hours which normally it should have taken only like a half hour to do but here you can see I'm unscrewing the drain and then that's the new one that I put in and so much nicer and then up there as you can see is I finally did get that one unscrewed, but the other one that still isn't unscrewed, that was the one that took me forever. I just, I tried to heat it up. I, I just kept pushing on it and pushing on it. It did all finally come. And then those plastic things took a while too, but they did finally come. And there, sorry about the bad video. I, it was so hard to get up in there with the camera and the lighting and everything, but I just wanted to show you that I did get it all hooked up and it worked perfectly. So I just want to show you, here's the before and then here is the after of the faucet. But no matter how bad it was, it looks so pretty. I love it. It just matches with all the other decor in there. Okay, well here is the after. I'm showing you our vent. I bought a new one of these and it's so pretty. I just, it really went along with all the other black I have in there. Um, here's behind the door. I put up a couple of uh, Ikea hooks, which these are awesome. They're so cheap and they stick to the wall and they, they don't do any damage when you take them off. And then on the door, I just have a little door hanger thing to put a, another towel to. And then here's the after. As you walk in, you can see everything that I did. I The mirror is all painted and I got the towel hanger. I loved, it just it matches so well with everything. I just love the black and the, with the white. And then I put up the gray towels. I got that on Amazon, really cheap. If you want, I can link all the, these things below I think I will do that. And then I did paint up there on that light fixture. I painted it all white. It was this really, I don't know. I just wasn't my style. And then here is the handles on the cabinets. I put those on too. They look so nice, all the black. And um, the rug is black too, which those look nice. And I love my shower curtain from Target. It just, I don't know, it's the gray and white, my favorite colors. As you can probably tell, most of my house is gray and white. Um, so, and then as we go around, you can see it's all white still. And then here is a little bit of decor, which if you saw my tour video, you would have seen this too. So this is just shelves I put up from Ikea and then a little decor on them. And those are just my hair stuff and my jewelry and then all my makeup and skincare and then there is the the peel and stick I don't know what you want to call it countertop stuff that I put on and um, I didn't show that either I totally forgot when I did that but it was kind of a pain in the butt but man does it look nice and then here's behind it with on the toilet this toilet paper roll holder, I don't know. I just think it's so cool. I, I think it's so neat. You could put your phone on there, whatever you want. Um, and then here's a couple more shelves that I got from Ikea. And then a couple of baskets on them. Those baskets are many years old. I've had them for several years. So anyway, thank you for watching.